Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Gravani, a professor of food science at Cornell University and a spokesperson for the Institute of Food Technologists. When bad weather is in the forecast, it's important to take food safety precautions in case of a power outage. And today I'd like to share five tips for you to remember. Number one, make sure that you have an appliance thermometer in your refrigerator and freezer. Your refrigerator should be at or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit and your freezer should be at or below zero degrees to assure quality and safe food products. Point number two, freeze containers of water as well as ice cubes and gel packs to use in coolers and keep food as cold as possible if the power goes out. And you may want to consider ahead of time freezing leftovers, milk, fresh meat and poultry so they'll be available during that power outage. Uh, point number three, Keep the doors to your refrigerator and freezer closed as much as possible. I know this is difficult to do, but your refrigerator should maintain its cold temperature for about four hours without power. A full freezer will hold its temperature for about 48 hours, but only 24 hours if it's half full. So again, a full freezer is the way to go. Point number four, when in doubt, throw it out. If at any point food is above 40 degrees for two hours or more, throw it away. Never taste food to determine if it's safe. That's not a good thing to do. Food in the freezer that still has ice crystals is okay to refreeze or to cook, but better to toss it out if you're unsure. And remember, eating food not kept at proper temperature may cause foodborne illness, even if it's thoroughly cooked. And point number five, it's good to keep a three-day supply of non-perishable food that doesn't require refrigeration or cooking. Food such as canned goods and boxed milk. And don't forget, stock up on bottled water. These five tips are really important to assure the safety and wholesomeness of food that you'll feed to your family during a power outage.